what's going on beautiful people thank you guys for tuning in for listening it's a beautiful day and first of all I think you're all powerful beings every single one of you is amazing and capable of literally everything and more much more of what you currently think you can do or you want to do and I don't believe in you I don't fucking believe in any of you guys I know you I know every single one of you because I know myself because we're the same essence the God essence the universe the the force and that is just that is magnificent that is divine that is capable of everything so I don't believe in any of you guys fuck that shit I don't believe in you but I, I know you so therefore I know your powers because I know myself and I know my powers so speaking of let's let's talk about something here that has kind of been going on in my mind today and I feel like I just gotta make a video on it why and it's gonna sound a little bit self-absorbed but fuck it right I want you guys to know who is this guy why did I choose the path of inspiring people why is it that I'm so passionate about what I do and I mean it shows in my videos it shows in my regular everyday affairs and why am I always full of this energy that wants to inspire I'll put it in simple terms for you guys we're gonna have to dig now into the heart cave here so prepare your tissues for some tears probably not but to put it in simple terms in, in, in a sentence I choose to inspire other people because I had no one to inspire me while growing up it's as simple as that I had no one to inspire me I had no figure that took my hand and said hey you know I think you have these talents and you have these abilities and I see that you're good at this and that you're good at that and I had no one to inspire me I had no figure to look up to while growing up the, all the figures I looked up to were football players Zidane Ronaldo and that's why my relationship with football is just uh, eternal it's at least in this incarnation will be with me for the rest of my life I still keep up with the scores I don't watch the games only the big ones but there is that connection because those are the people I looked up to because I had no one in, in, in my life to inspire me. I had no one to tell me, hey, you know, you know, like, l t tell little Saeed, right? Because you're kids, you need affection, you need support, you need encouragement. No one. No one to tell me, hey, you know, I think you're, you have good athletic abilities. And I think you have this, and I think you have that, and, 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 and um, you know, really, none of that. None of that. In fact, my childhood experience not only did I have no one to inspire me to tell me good things give me supportive words and encouragement and confidence in fact it wasn't just a neutral experience it was a complete opposite you know I don't want to get too much into it but there was domestic violence in my house right so I was used to being beaten the fuck out of to put it in simple terms here now there's nothing against anyone who's done that to me because I know they have the best intentions but I'm just telling it the way it is right this is just how it was so that was one of it that was part of it and I've heard a lot of insults while growing up lots of insults from people in my household but also people outside of my household in the schools that I went to and and um, the friends that I had, right? So I actually grew up not only with no one to inspire me, but I also grew up with people who were constantly throwing insults at me. Really, constantly. And, and some of these insults were nasty and mean. And sometimes they were physical, physical insults, right? And you're a little kid. What the fuck are you going to do? So anyway, I grew up and... Really, I grew up with a, like a lot of anger, of course. I grew up with a lot of anger, a lot of resentment, and a lot of rage, rage, and 
low self-esteem, of course, because you're constantly being insulted. And as a child, you're in a state of hypnosis for the first seven years of your life. Anything that comes into your mind, you believe it. So these insults that I constantly received started to become my program. And really, because of that, because of what I've gone through, because of the constant negativity, the insults, the physical and emotional insults that I, that I constantly received as a child and having no one to look up to, no one to inspire me, no one to tell me, hey, this is what you're good at and I see the potential in you and you're powerful and you tell a kid anything, they'll believe it, right? No one to give me confidence, nothing, the complete opposite. So, as I grew and grew older and as I went on my own, right? Because I've been living on my own since I was 18. So it's been, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've been on my own. And started to really dig deep and, and, and really see what the fuck. Like, I, I really don't feel good about myself. Um, I feel like shit. I feel I have anxiety. I have social anxiety. Uh, and I just don't like the person that I'm in. I'm not comfortable here. I'm not comfortable with my sexuality. I'm not comfortable with my looks. I'm not comfortable with my height i'm not comfortable with anything because i've been told all my life you know one one of the i'm gonna give you guys like literally like this is not even this is the tip of the iceberg it, it's there's a lot it goes a lot deeper i used to constantly as growing up hear it from people really close to me right and also others you're short you're short you're short you're you know like you're not good enough you're you know if to be a man you gotta be taller blah blah I heard that shit all my life growing up from people really close, like, you know, within the household, but also from, you know, like friends and people outside. But that's honestly, that's just the tip of the iceberg. You know, this is just, this is, I'm giving you, because I don't want to go too deep into it, to be honest here, right? I want to keep some things personal, but I'm giving you just a small example. So, yeah, so then... As I moved on my own, right, and I got a place, I got an apartment, and I went to university, and I started to dig deep in myself and see I, I'm not comfortable with this person. I, in fact, I hate myself. Simple as that. I look at my in the mirror. I hate this guy. I don't. I, what the fuck? I don't like. It. I couldn't even hold eye contact with myself in the mirror because I hated this guy. I hated this person uh, because I've been told. I've been told my whole life. That I'm, I will never mount to anything. That I'm not good. That I'm, I have like bad qualities. It's you know, ingrained in me. So when I moved on my own, I was depressed for the first couple of years, you know. And I, this is a separate video for it altogether. My depression. I have it written down to make it. That's a whole different topic altogether. The depression that I went through the first two years. It was me. Basically saying, wow, this is me now. I'm here alone in this apartment and I don't like myself. As the years went on and I, I got into personal development and I started to read books and started to get to, you know, to more of a positive place and I started to really like embrace myself and everything. Um, what's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, yeah, so as I started, I moved on. I started to embrace myself and really like look around and say wow like you're actually magnificent despite what what you've been told all your life and especially the first seven years of your in the childhood that's in you're in an open state of hypnosis anything people tell you you become then you know what man like as i as i grew stronger in myself and i found my confidence and i found my inner being right the true self and really started to feel a sense of empowerment you know it was so spontaneous and still is I say, you know what, fuck this. There's a lot of people like that out there. They've gone through some similar storyline as my character has gone through and they, f they feel completely like shit bags because their parents told them that, their family told them that, uh, their friends told them that, their society told them that. And I'm gonna help these people. I'm gonna reach out to these people. And yeah. That's why, that's why,
That's why I'm here to help people. And that's why I'm on a mission. Because you know what? The world tells you you're not good enough, man. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. You're strong. You're powerful, right? Now look. The people who are putting these negative spills on you, they don't mean it, you know? I don't want to say fuck them all because they don't mean it. They themselves have been contaminated by other bad magicians, you see? So the people who told you all these things while you're a child and now they've formed your self-image, they themselves feel like shit about themselves. They have no confidence, they have... Nothing going on for them, no no sense of empowerment. They completely depend on authorities to tell them what to do, on institutions, whether it's financial institutions or religious institutions or cultural institutions and all that fucking bullshit. They depend on it because they don't trust themselves. They're not confident in themselves. And so when these people have told you that, the close people to you, but also the society, they themselves, that's how they feel. They mirror what they think about themselves onto you. You know, it's as simple as that. So I've made it my mission, still is, to inspire people to spread positive energy because, yeah, I, I know how it's like. I know how it's like to, to, to feel, you know, feelings of shame, feelings of guilt. And yeah, I'm here to make the world a better place. I'm here to make the world a little better, right? Because who the fuck am I? You guys know I'm, I'm just a babbling idiot, right? I'm, I'm a babbling idiot. You know, I'm just like a little dot in the universe and I'm just barking right now, right? <laughs> I'm just rambling. I'm just bullshitting. But, you know, I'll, I'll leave it a little better. I'll leave it a little better. And, you know, the people, I'll leave it a little better. How about that? Let's keep it at that. Okay. And yeah. Yeah, I think. You know, I think to myself sometimes, everything is meant, right? So, like, the storyline, I'm grateful for everything that happened to me because all the the way my character, because this is a character, right? The way my character developed itself, it's exa- It's meant to be. It, everything is meant to be, right? I wouldn't be talking to you guys and spreading this positive energy had it not been for the contrast that I experienced while growing up. You see what I mean? Because I wouldn't really, in my own case, I wouldn't feel like I need much of a reason to inspire others. If maybe someone has constantly been giving me confidence while growing up, maybe I wouldn't have, maybe I would have like inspired others just by being confident. You understand what I'm saying? Because we can all inspire others. As long as you have like something going on, you can you can be an inspiration. So like, I'll give you an example. Take Lionel Messi, for example, right? Lionel Messi had a growth problem while growing up. His dad was there for him and helped him and inspired him. And he's his manager right now, you know? So his dad was there for him, helped him, inspired that little Messi that had a growth problem. And you know what? Messi inspires us all by being Messi. You see, by being confident, by being confident, in, by playing his, his, his game, football, right? So... I'm not saying it's the only way to inspire others is to go through some shit in your childhood. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying, no, we can all inspire others. In fact, I don't want anybody as a child to go through bullshit. I don't want that. I really, that's, I don't want that. I want everybody to go through, like, have really, have a lot of support while growing up. I really do. And I think that's the best way to inspire others is to have, to be a confident child and have really great support from the time you're a little kid. Uh, but I'm saying that for me to even want to talk, constantly talk and inspire and make it my thing, right, my life path, I'm saying in my own case, that needed to happen. Everything happens for a reason. That needed to happen, right? But we can all inspire. We can all inspire. You don't have to have a fucking shitty childhood or, you know, some bullshit to happen to you while you were growing up. You don't have to have that. In fact, we shouldn't. We don't want kids to have that anymore. We should be the last generation to have these fucking stories and these bullshit happening we should be the last generation okay no we should have kids that are confident that are healthy that are vibrant that are alive that are in connection with the universe that are not repressed that don't feel shame and guilt about their, their being a human being right 
So anyway, that's it. That's where I'm gonna finish off. And we did fucking need tissues after all. I really didn't think we would need tissues, but we needed some tissues. So that's good. It's good catharsis. Because I like to think of you guys now as my family. Seriously, you guys are my family. Because if somebody is, is, is going to listen to my bullshit and accept the bullshit, accept me for who I am, then you're my family. I love you. I love you unconditionally. You know, because love is acceptance, you know. And I, you know, that's it. That's the message I'm trying to put out to the world. Just accept. Don't judge. Accept. This is how somebody is. This is the way they are. Accept it 110%. Don't put your own ideas of what a person should be. Don't project it. Accept them. That's it. That's how the universe chooses to manifest itself through you. And you know what? I accept that 100%. You don't have to love it. You don't have to hug it. You know, you don't have to agree with it. But you accept it. And that's all that matters, guys. That's love. Like, love is acceptance. I don't think of love as like, this smothering type of love, which is love, I think of it as acceptance. Accept. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to fucking even like, want to hang around with me. Right? There are some people I don't want to hang around with. You know what? I try my best, to the best of my ability, to say, that's just the way the universe is doing itself through you. And I have to accept that. I'm, I'm, I don't want to pass my judgments. I accept it. Maybe I don't want to hang around with you, but I accept it. So that's it, guys. You guys are my family. God bless you all. Stay strong. Stay powerful. We're here to change the world, a better world based on love, unity, oneness. And that's it. As always, don't forget to subscribe or you're going to sleep with the fishes.